How to install Ansible Lint in macOS? How to install the Ansible Lint command line utility and use it to improve our Ansible playbook in macOS, Intel and Silicon. My name is Luca Berton and welcome in today's episode of Ansible Pilot. Let's start from the end. Wouldn't be fantastic if there is a one command line utility that explains us all the errors and mistakes that we do in an Ansible playbook? Well, this is exactly the meaning of Ansible-Lint utility. As you can see, it points out to every line where there is a possible mistake and it suggests how we can sort it out. More information about Ansible Lint pointed out to the GitHub public repository, Ansible slash Ansible Lint repository. As you can see, it's an open source project released under GPL3 license and latest release was just two days ago, release 6.14.0. Yes, great! and Ansible Lint check playbooks for practices and behavior that could potentially be improved. As a community backed project, Ansible Lint support only the last two major versions of Ansible. This is good enough, and let's take a look about the documentation. So this link pointed out to the documentation of this project that is very well done and explain you a lot of things and the, how to install, how to use it and there is a plenty of different use cases. You can also embed one configuration file inside a, a repository and use to validate for example every commit of your repository. Take a look, this documentation is amazing and incredibly well done. So thank you Ansible Lint project. But now let's take a look how to install in our macOS operating system. Welcome to my terminal. First of all, let's verify if the Ansible-Lint command is available in our system. In my case, uh, there is a command not found, which means that this command is not installed. I'm going to use the brew package manager. This is very common package manager. You can uh, install very easily, just copy and paste uh, the instruction from brew.sh. Uh, we can search uh, for the available packages and as you can see, there is an Ansible-Lint that doesn't have a green mark behind, uh, nearby. Uh, one of the benefits of using Homebrew is that it's taking care of also the dependency of our software. In this case, the Ansible-Lint requires SQLite, Ansible, Black, Pigments and Yamlint. So at the moment is actually fetching, so downloading the software from uh, mm, the public repository already downloaded SQLite, Ansible and now the remaining utility. Uh, the Homebrew is taking care of maintaining up to date our system, so basically we don't need to do anything and whenever a new release is available we simply say to Homebrew to update our system. As you can see, the biggest package in this dependency is the Ansible project that is almost 400 megabyte, megabyte because this is the latest release of a community package. I'm using Ansible 7.3.0 that is 378 megabyte. Okay, so the installation is actually already performed. Now it's taking care of removing all the uh, old packaging in my system and we can check it out uh, using simple command line command. First of all is to perform a brew search again with ansible-lint package. This time there is a green mark just um, 
just after the package. So if we type ansible-lint, we don't uh, receive a comma not found error. Instead, we got, uh, oh yes, we got some notification that is trying to recursively analyzing my disk for any Ansible file found. So let me stop it, the execution with Ctrl C and use the dash dash help for more parameter investigation. As you can see, there is a pretty rich, rich uh, parameter option and we can decide if uh, this tool should be more strict or more uh, uh, conservative about uh, the execution. We can check it out if it's ready to run using the Ansible Link dash dash version. In this case, is the last release the same that we saw on the website. Now we are ready to use it in our Ansible playbooks. Yay! Now we know how to install Ansible dash Lint in macOS. Thank you for watching and see us on the next lesson of Ansible Pilot and have a great day! Yay!